Hello, once again, I'm coming before you today on uh, November the 16th, 2022. This word I received yesterday, and um, I'm going to release it today, this morning. It's about 8.36 this morning, and so uh, I'm going to release this word, and I may come back later with a, a word, a fresh word today depending on if Father God releases something to me today or not. Uh, excuse me. But um, this is what the Father has said on yesterday. He says, always remember, I'm your God. I'm your Father in the heavens. All things come from me. It is now that you are going forward to speak and release things in the atmosphere. I'm going, I'm giving you words to release i'm saying come out of hiding O sleeping souls come out calling all of those that are asleep to come forward for their time is now speaking to the atmosphere to call all warriors to come forth out of the caves out of their hiding places speaking to the atmosphere to call all of those that are lost to come and be reconciled to their king Many things are taking place. Get ready to go forth, to travel, to recover. I'm preparing many in this season for travel, to go amongst the heathens and call all of my people from amongst them. My ability to move and shift the atmosphere will come by obedience. Continue to pray for those that are wayward, those that are lost and displaced. Continue to lift them up before me in prayer. I'm moving my people into position to take the land, to recover the spoils. All that belongs to my people will be released in abundance. All that I have spoken will be released for my people. All that I have, tr all that have trusted me, all that have kept my word in their hearts, I will release to those all that I have promised. Carry on in prayers as always. Go forth. And this is the word that the Lord had gave me on yesterday. And um, just to remind everyone that um, we're still uh, looking and waiting on the um, wealth transfer, kingdom wealth transfer. Um, he's setting everything up in motion right now. He's he's putting people in position. He's needed to call many out of um, hiding. You know where he, where he said that um, uh, here. He said that he says speaking to the atmosphere to call all warriors to come forth out of the caves, out of their hiding places, and. Um, as he is calling us all out of uh, uh, places, uh, obscurity, places of uh, uh, being tucked away for, for molding and training and building, um, out of caves as he has spoken, he is positioning us as foot soldiers to run uh, in this season or in the season that's coming in 2023. Um, I believe that we are in for uh, some great things uh, from the kingdom of God as we continue to pray and be obedient and release things into the atmosphere as he is calling us to do so. Um, I think that 2023 would be a great year for uh, those that are trusting and believing Father God. Uh, many things will uh, be given to us in abundance as he has said. Um, but it's going to come only by commitment in abundance. Um, I have said before, and many people uh, don't like to hear that everyone won't receive these blessings. This is why I have said that my videos are not for everyone. It is for those that are uh, prayer warriors, those that are truly seeking uh, the direction and instructions of God. The, these videos are for those. Th these videos are for those that labor in prayer. Uh, that uh, God has called to prayer. And let me say this. When you become an intercessor and a prayer warrior, 
uh, it doesn't matter if you're a pastor, uh, evangelist, whatever your title may be. The blessings, the blessings come to those that labor in prayer. Uh, those that labor before the Lord uh, with the open heart to receive from Him and just labor in prayer. There's so many blessings that comes to you. I just wanted to, to say that um, because I am truly blessed and He continues to bless me and cover my children. One of the mandates, uh, mandates, one of the promises that He spoke to me was uh, because of my obedience in prayer that he would cover my children. So there's rewards in prayer. There's rewards um, in laboring in prayer before the Lord. But um, let's uh, look at what he has said uh, to us about things that we need to release in the atmosphere, uh, calling those people out that are asleep. And I, I, I understand that being asleep is that you're thinking, uh, well, I'm saved. You know, everything is going to be all right. No. He's calling those people to wake up, come, and see what thus said the Lord. Get back in, on track. Get in alignment. Allow me to groom you and to process you and to bring you forward. These are the ones that he's calling that are asleep. And so and then the wayward. He's wanting to call the wayward back to him, back to their first love. Uh, and he's all, also want to reach the lost, those that don't know him. He's constantly saying, pray for the lost. And then we have instructions of all the other things that I have spoken in previous videos. But let's be encouraged today by this word that abundance is coming. Abundance is coming. And I believe that we're going to see the abundance released to us in 2023. I do believe that there's going to be doors open uh, uh, and doors shutting that needs to be shut. Um, I believe that deliverance is coming to a lot of us as, as far as if we're uh, having financial difficulty because uh, I'm in that position. But I have, uh, in, I have put my trust in the Lord to know that these things are just for a moment. Uh, we're going to see some great release from Father God in 2023 um, things are going to get tighter and crazier in the earth they're going to look like uh, all hell is broke out but for those that are trusting and leaning on Father God we was reap the harvest and we will receive the abundance and the 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 portion <laughs> my 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 the portion is going to be great now, if you're not walking according to the plan and will of God, if we're not being obedient, if we're not trusting and committed to Him, we won't see these things <clears throat> until we get into the alignment to trust and be obedient. Um, you know, that's like our children. We love our children, but when they're disobedient, the things that we want to give them, we hold off. For, uh, for uh, giving it to them until they show us that they're going to be to do better or their behavior will change. So does the Father. But He does it in such ways that it's more uh, loving and more gentle and patient uh, than us humans are. <laughs> Praise God for that. But um, take this word today. Go back and listen to it again and jot down those key words of prayer that we release these things in the atmosphere. I want to thank, also, I have had some uh, new subscribers in the last week. I want to thank you for, uh, even on yesterday, I want to thank you for subscribing. And I ask, like always, continue to share these videos, uh, subscribe and like, and put the notification bell on. Um, as always, I ask that the Lord bless you and richly bless your household in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach